Hello guys, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi. Welcome back to another segment of Arsenal News. But this time, we are going to be predicting the UEFA Europa League semi-finals and the UEFA Champions League finals. It's happening. It's happening this week. Arsenal take on Villarreal, Manchester United take on Roma in the Europa League quarter semi-finals. And then um, in the Champions League, where I think we have a little bit of more drama, Chelsea take on Real Madrid and Manchester City take on Paris Saint-Germain. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, first 50,000 subscribers mean everything to this channel. And you're the people we will be making content to. So make sure you tell me because you changed this. We like this. Don't do like, Don't do this. And I'll try to do everything you people tell me. The first 50,000 subscribers. And that is the road we are on. To. So let's get into it. My predictions. This is my opinion. And I want to know. Get involved. Who do you think will qualify for the finals? Will it be City? Will it be Chelsea? Will it be Real Madrid or PSG? Make sure you let me know in the comment below. Let's start with the Champions League. Okay. First and foremost, we start with um, Real Madrid, Chelsea. It's a big one. It's a big one in terms of um, the Giants because, you know, two Giants, both in the, you know, in the European Super League, you understand? So, before we go, we, we go into the European Super League, we are, you know, we've got to see what they can actually offer in the UEFA Champions League. So, I'm kidding. The, the, the Super League was cancelled, was suspended, though. Um... This is, a kind of, this, this is a kind of game that I think Real Madrid should be able to win. I look at it as a very big one for Chelsea. Look, I don't mean to undermine Chelsea. I, I, they are from London and Arsenal is from London. But this is no beef. I'm trying to be a little bit more objective. I'm looking at this game as, um, as, a, as a bigger game for Chelsea. They have had a couple of good results. Um, I think Thomas Tuchel has assembled them very well. Ever since his, you know, ever since his takeover as manager, and they can put some resistance for Real Madrid, but I don't see them going through. In the first leg um, at at home, I expect Real Madrid to beat them three one, and then at, uh, at the Stanford Bridge, did I say in Madrid um, at home in Madrid? I expect that um, at the Santiago Bernabeu, I expect three one to Madrid, and then at the Stanford Bridge, I expect. Um, I, I expect Chelsea to pick a point, like one-one, uh, probably one-one. Uh, I don't expect them to lose both games. Um, many people say probably this could be the, the shocking result of um of the semi-finals in the Champions League. I don't see that happen. Obviously, I don't see it uh, honestly and obviously. I don't see it happen. Real Madrid go through against um Chelsea on a, on aggregates four-two. That is my prediction. Um, PSG Manchester City. Quality up against quality, money against money. I think one of the things that um, PSG are lucky with is uh, they're coming into this tie with a manager that we all know can do it. He has been there at the, uh, at the finals of um, the Champions League. He didn't win it uh, with Spurs, but I think it's you know they're coming with a manager that all of us give a lot of respect, especially um, you know. In English football, we know we all know what he has done with um uh, with Tottenham Hotspur and and the pedigree now um that you know he has at the club. So Spurs, uh, sorry, PSG, Manchester City. I expect I expect Manchester City to dominate the game. I don't expect I don't think PSG will have the you know, the, the possession. I think Pep will carry them um, both evenings. I think he will carry both evenings because um City is very very possessive and um we could see PSG win this game in France uh something like 2-1 2-1 in France and then um in England because um we have seen PSG and, and how they handle matters. If you lose to them in France, um, they come, uh, you know, they, they come away from home. They sit back. You you play. You do all, you know do you do all the pre all, all the playing. They get you onto onto the counter attack, score an away goal, and you're off. That's what they did with Barcelona. That's what they did with Bayern Munich. So, um, Kylian Mbappe, uh, Neymar versus Kevin De Bruyne, the Phil and Phil Foden and. And and, 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 and and Pep Guardiola. I'm going to take a hard one on this. I think City will go through. City will go through. I think they will lose. I think City will lose. 2-0. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 
in France and they will win 2 0 at the Etihad Stadium in England. Those are my predictions of the UEFA Champions League. Let's look at um, the Europa League, which, which is the point of focus of this video. Arsenal visit Villarreal this Thursday. We are, tomorrow is going to be much about this, you know, that, 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 that game, confirmed team news, match preview, predicted lineup, press conference reaction, and everything else. So let's get into it. Arsenal Villarreal. The reunion with Unai Emery. I think that is the headline. That's the headline. Can we beat Unai Emery? Because the moment he beats us, he has confirmed that we sacked him and he, you know, he's gone higher and we have gone deeper. I think ever since he left the club, there's been no progress. That's the truth. There's, no be there's been no progress. I don't see us progressing from one level to another with, with, with Unai Emery going away. Not even by me I'm bringing in a manager because the manager we brought in was never had the pedigree as compared to you know and we know the you know we know the reputation he has in the in the europa league that is another reason to prove that this is going to be a very hard one but i'm going to tell you something that very that's very optimistic and something that is very funny i think Arsenal will go through we are going to go away from villarreal and lose 2-1 fact but we shall get an away goal because I've looked at I've looked at their average, um, at their average uh, rating as a club. It stands at around six point seven. Uh, they have so many old players in that team. I'm not trying to disrespect them. I'm telling you facts about the club. Um, they have a couple of had you know had and you know um, had players there. You have um, you know Gerald Moreno. You have uh, Paco Alcasa. Um, I think they will score. I think they have the ability to score against the likes of Robolding and. Um, and, and whoever's going to be partnering him and, and Leno. So I think 2-1 away from home, at home, they will win. Now, when they come in the, um, w when they come at home, um, or that will be away from home, the, on the road to, ch to Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium, I expect Arsenal to win that one 3-1. Get me? 3-1. On average, that makes it... Um, Four, three. So I think I, I'm very. Op I don't know why I'm so optimistic, but I think Asta will go through. Um, not because I trust Mikel or something like that. I just feel we shall go through. Uh, it's not an easy one though. So if we lose tomorrow, I won't be shocked. Oh, on on Thursday, if we win, on th if we lose on Thursday, I won't be shocked. But I won't be shocked either if Villarreal come at um, uh, at the Emirates Stadium and lose it. However, Asta have got to be very very careful with this. Manchester United drama. Um, it looks like the easier tie for Manchester United. Um, yeah, I don't see any element of surprise in this one. But if there is an element of, the, of surprise in the Europa League semi-finals, it's going to be Roma beating Manchester United. That is the element of surprise. Um, Villarreal beating Arsenal. That is not. Uh, I mean, you know, taking out Arsenal. That won't be a surprise. Arsenal taking out Villarreal. It won't be much of a surprise. So it's a little bit more of a can, you know kind of balanced game. Manchester United losing to Roma, that is, th that is going to be the surprise. I don't know if we, we shall have surprises, but I expect it to be the surprise. The surprise. But um, my prediction, I think United will go through. Uh, they'll go out Roma and win it 1-0. And then um, uh, they win 2-1 two, two um, at, um, at, at the Old Trafford. So I think still Manchester United will go through. On average, around... Um, a 3-1 uh, on aggregate, not average, um, on aggregate. So those are my Europa League um, uh, predictions. Go down in the comment box below and tell me, who do you think will qualify for the finals? So my finals um, in both competitions are Arsenal versus Manchester United. I think we shall see an all um, an all English star, you know, final. And um, in, the, in, in the Champions League, I expect Manchester City in the final and Real Madrid in the final. I'll tell you who will win the titles in my UEFA Champions League and Europa League final predictions. Love you so much. I'm out.